Hey, welcome back everybody. Sign here again with another episode of my AC2 playthrough here on ARC. Uh, we're still on the island, and one thing I managed to tame up between episodes was an Angatarama. I think I've got all the Spinosaurids now. At least one of each. Hey, uh, sit down. I want to look at you. There you go. Got a tiny, tiny little eye on you. But, uh, let's see. Couldn't get this on. You are a neutral Angatrama. Okay. So you're going to need a saddle. And, see, I was low level. You can knock out tame these or passive tame them. Passive taming, honestly, is a huge pain. Do not recommend it. Especially, uh, there are three... Uh, different types of uh, basically attitude these things can have personalities I guess would be a good way of putting it there's frenzied there's like passive or whatever and neutral and this one's a neutral now depending on which personality they have they have different abilities and so on and so forth yeah we got left click bite right click is claw, uh, claw strike C is a roar. And then X is their their unique move depending on personality. Which off the hand top of my head, I can't remember what's what. But actually I need to take this guy to the water real quick. I can't remember how good of swimmers they are. Eh, not bad. Yeah, this is full out running speed. So, pretty low level. Stamina is holding up pretty well, though. I have tried these out before, and I remember being uh, extremely underwhelmed by them. There you go. They're they're kind of actually like the Albertosaurus. They have some cool mechanics to them, but just for a general running around and doing a meat run, they leave a little bit to be desired. All right, so I need to do a take. We're going to be spending some time underwater today, actually. So grab a couple of these. Yeah, now my weight's okay. And we're going to grab Beefy. I haven't taken Beefy out in quite a while. I always take Speedy out instead. Beefy's not nearly as fast, but uh, let's see. No corpses. Okay. Uh, but yeah, Beefy is geared towards combat. So there we go. There's a parasaur. That'll be dinner. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> definitely. Uh, Definitely a lot stronger and speedy whenever it comes to, to uh, taking things out. Uh, is that the Carnoraptors over here? Yeah, what level were you near? 60? Twenty and twenty-five, huh? Oh, there's an Alpha Raptor down here, huh? Cool. Ah, moved. All right. You know what? And
There. So there is well, a regular raptor right there. Okay, and Ostraptor. Uh, but there's a new creature in Endemics, which has actually been out for a while now. The uh, the the Onco Peristus. And oh, look at that! Lakasukas is down there just beating up on a Lystro. It's a giant saw skate, is what it is, and it's the biggest animal in Endemics, which is you know usually. The, uh, the smaller critters that you can't ride around on. Okay, and you are... Passive, yeah, no. Behavior. We're putting you on neutral, because I'm going to leave you here on the beach. And I don't want something to eat you. Uh, let's see. We can get that equipped, and I brought myself a Cryptoclitus out. Three more levels. Sure. Let's go ahead and get you some health just in case we run into something nasty. And now the Ankaparistas, they live on the seafloor. Hmm. Oh, nope. Hello, jellyfish. Well, that's kind of an ominous number now, isn't it? What? Really? The first one of these I've seen. And they've been in the mod for quite a while. Eastman Osteus. I have got a ton of rare flowers on me, I just realized. Okay, we need to find... Um... Wait, we got prime meat back up here on shore. Okay. Now, the Eastman Osteus, they're very, uh, very rare, actually. There you are. Okay. Hey. Uh, yeah, you got a good amount of prime meat on you. Um, here, you can hold on to those for me. I don't want to accidentally eat the things. I seem to remember uh, the Eastmans. They eat the entire stack of food at once when you pass or tame them. Because they're just, they're that hungry, right? They do not let, you know, any food get away from them. Alright, now before I hop off. Okay, I think we're good. You... Oh, six raw prime meat, huh? Okay. Should have brought some flippers. Hey, there's two of you in here? A male and female? Oh, you only ate one, though. That's weird. Hey. Can I, uh... You are in a very bad spot. <laughs> Ah, there we go. Well, I couldn't reach it. Okay, sweet. They spawn together inside of an oil node, so they're not going anywhere. This is like the best circumstance you can hope for with a passive tame. As long as that, uh, that snake doesn't come down here. Which, the snakes aren't bad. They used to be better, but they suffocate now if they go onto land for too long. So, bit of a shame there. Do I have any mothballs on me? I do. They don't work underwater, though. Dang it. Man, look at the face on this thing, though. don't have... Yeah. Oh, no, I bent wrong. Oh, the saddle here. This thing here? I got it from killing, I think it was it was an Alpha Dinochirus, maybe. It's an Ascendant Shunosaur saddle with 25 armor. 
<laughs> that takes a stupid amount of resources to make. I, yeah, I just, I kept it because I thought it was hilarious. Hey, little guy. So, is there anything else around here? What killed you? Oh, hello, little guys. Oh, dang. Missed. Hey. And I guess I ate the one body, didn't I? <laughs> what killed the Megalodon, though? That was weird. Oh, hello, Tylosaurus. Um... Don't fight right there, guys. Ugh. Why you gotta do this? This is where Cryptoclytus excels, by the way. They're incredibly mobile, so... You can actually... A little hard with Tylosaurus, but you can get inside of the turn radius and things. And, uh... Oh, no. Don't go after the corpse. You don't even, like, you know... Do I have raw prime fish? No, just raw fish. Okay. Just realized that the East Winosities there, 90,000 Torpor. With 3,500 health. Good luck getting that thing knocked out. Did that make you angry? Nope. Okay. All right, and oh, it's Megalodon. I know, huge threat, isn't it? Oh, hello. Come here, you little black pearl dispenser. Actually, the true black pearl dispensers are uh, Alpha Tusos. I just don't feel like fighting one right now. Okay, we're up against the world border. You guys ready to eat yet? Nope. Nice thing about the spy glasses, I'll actually show you, you know, ready to eat on there, which huge help. shark. That is a hammerhead. Okay, we're fine. Anything else around here? Alright, let's go check on our uh, soon-to-be buddies here.
and the nope, and I'm going to guess a no on this one as well. Yeah, there we go. All right, and at A level, okay, yep. Anything else around here? Ah, uh, there's some rip rids. There's no Onkos, though. Okay. A giant octopus. I bet those things are still glitched where you can't harvest when you kill them. That's unfortunate. Did find some orcas over here. Juvenile Orca, level 20. Is there a baby around here too? Yeah, there's the baby. Level 15. Alright. I did go back to base real quick and grab myself some... Uh, kibble. So. You can only tame baby Orcas. You can't tame the adults. Well, babies and juveniles. But, uh... Kind of waiting for the, uh... The Eastman's too. I get hungry still. Can we squirt through? Yeah, we can. Okay. Not uh, any further. Okay. Nope. Can't quite fit through there. All right. And let's see. Did manage to kill some angler fish as well. I mean, it's. I don't know. I've been kind of spoiled, I guess, by Genesis and whatnot. Like, it's dead down here, though. It's just. There's nothing going on. Uh, might have got more black pearls out of that. I don't know. Wasn't paying that much attention. There we go. Much better. Eh, we got 10 black pearls so far, though, this trip. So, not bad. Oh, hey, there's an narwhal. One kibble. You know what? Yes, I will take that deal. Because... Our walls will produce oil passively in their inventory. Uh, is that another Tyla? That yeah, is. Tylos are a bit of a pain to tame up. You have to get them while they're free swimming above the ocean floor. Oh, that's a Mako. No! You die. Okay. It did nail me with crippled. Okay, so... And our Eastman should be right here. Are you ready to eat yet? No, they're still not ready. Good lord. You guys are going to starve to death before you're ready to get another pass of eating in. All right, well, kind of take a peek around here. You have to watch out for the giant killer snake, but is that a yeah. I missed the fish. Yeah, <laughs> we get a damage bonus against fish. Doesn't apply to sharks, though. Bunch more narwhals. Okay, cool. What are you? Oh, okay, Meg. 
Now the the Ankos from the pictures that I saw of them, they're substantial. They're pretty close to a megalodon in length. Uh, they're nowhere near as bulky, but uh, they're they're not tiny either. Anomalocaris. What is your torpor? Eighteen thousand. Oh wow, that was a cluster now, wasn't it? These guys are kind of fun too, actually. I'm just trying to think of the best way to do this. Uh, I do have... I cannot shoot from the back of Cryptoclitus. That makes things a lot worse. I realize that. Um, I'll come back for you. I need to get it into shallow enough water that I can... Wow. That, uh, yeah. Zygo Pisetter did not have a good time with those sharks. I think uh, Hammerheads get a pack bonus, too. Uh, but yeah, I need to be able to use my rifle on that thing in order to knock it out, you know, relatively quickly. And... Unfortunately, you... Yeah, I can't shoot from the back of a Cryptoclitus at all, so. And these guys are, uh, uh, hopefully they're ready. No, and... Great text, so yeah, nope. <sighs> you guys, seriously. All right, well, the female is tamed up. There we go. Nope. Got her. All right, cool. Uh, okay, wait till Sungry. Yeah, he still hasn't eaten yet. Okay. Ah, oh, come on, man. Well, let's look at our female here. Okay, we do not need a saddle to ride you, huh? Can we lay down on top? Quite a bit bigger fish than it looked like when it was stuck inside the oil node, isn't it? Barely see me up there. Yeah, it looks a little bit easier to see me. I see my outline anyway, but yeah. Animation suffers a little bit while you're turning, but they actually, they're relatively maneuverable too. That's kind of nice. I'm looking for like an oil node or something I can punch on. So we got left click, bite, right click, nothing, see nothing. Okay. What are the stats like on you? Uh, 2200 health, 856 weight. That's uh, not bad. Expect to see. Nope. Oh, okay. I don't think any of these rocks are harvestable, are they? Because I'm pretty sure that this thing can, can chow down on rocks like a donkey can. I'm not. 100% certain now. 
See, I've never tamed one of these before, so... Not exactly sure how this is supposed to work. Wow, I am horrible about actually attacking coelacanth underwater. Oh, there's an oil node up here, though. All right, cool. So, nope, you actually don't harvest. Okay. You turn in in space, in space though. Oh, that's kind of cool. So, not bad damage. I mean, 327, that's uh, pretty good. As long as it doesn't have a, uh, a damage multiplier against fish, we're okay. Because right, if it's doing like twice damage or double damage to fish, then yeah, we're not, not doing so hot. Oh, jerk. Come on. All right, so I did a little bit of reading up on the Eastman Osteus here. And uh name literally translates to uh, Eastman's Bone, named after the guy who discovered it. Uh, they are a more combat-oriented donkey, so they can't harvest anything, really. Just, uh, just meat. Meat and hide. Uh, they do actually have pretty decent attack. I mean, like, really decent, actually. Uh, their base damage is it's 82 base damage, so you're, yeah, 82 times this number here. But it's a, their basic attack ignores and shreds armor and inflicts bleed. Now, one of the other cool things is most wild uh, sea life will uh, ignore a tamed Eastman Osteus. They just don't want to deal with it. Don't blame them, really. And then uh, the last thing is they have armor. 60% damage reduction. They only take 40% of incoming damage. So, basically, their effective health is like two and a half times that amount. And, oh, dude, why aren't you getting hungry? Uh, but yeah, they are uh, quite large. So I'm thinking... This may be the new creature I take into aquatic caves, actually. I mean, it's not a powerhouse like the Lake Van monster is, but I could probably just go right on in. Look at the teeth on this thing, though. I mean, that is just not something you want to have nail you, that's for sure. I mean, yeah, no. <laughs> Hey, are you hungry yet? No. Uh, how do you use your health level up? Okay, that was like 300 health right there. Not bad. Do you burn through food kind of quick, don't you? Well, when you're healing anyway. I have been here all night waiting for this guy to get hungry again. That's the morning song that's playing right now. You know, sunrise. And let's see. Yeah, oh, we even actually killed an ammonite while waiting for this thing. Which was fun because I got attacked by that pack in our walls. Like, oh, well, I'm going to have to kill all you guys now. Uh, pretty good weight on this thing, though. 856 is actually really good. And they're not as slow as a donkey, which is even better. Uh, except for this part, right? And... But what I want to do is, I want to breed these two 
eventually here and get an imprinted baby with the good stats. But, uh, yeah, this is, hey, this is taking forever. Uh, downside is I don't have an underwater harvester yet. Uh, the upside is I don't really need one. I mean, I do have my, I got my lake van monster and I have my fire spitter, both of which can harvest materials underwater. So it's not necessarily, you know, needed, but. I want to get this guy tamed up and take him over to the uh, Cave of the Brute and try him out a little bit. 